Rocky. Welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing about JNU examinations and in this video I will be talking about the syllabus for the exam, the pattern in which the examination will be conducted and lastly about the important topic from each avenue. Now, I'm very well aware that there are different combinations, different fields of studies that you could choose. So in this video, with respect to important topics, the pattern and the syllabus, I will be discussing about life sciences and about biotechnology. So I have tried to collect all the papers that were possible and have put down the list of the most important topics that are asked in both the examinations. Although the syllabus for biotech is slightly different, there are many additional topics from chemistry and other subjects also which are not present in the life science paper. So keep that in mind while you are thinking about the important topics. I know there are very less days and therefore for giving you some direction to go, I have collected these topics. Now, I know you many of you have requested this video from a long time and sorry it took me this much, but there were a lot of papers that I had to check and therefore uh, it took slightly a longer time. But thank you so much for showing so much love and without much further ado, let's get right into the video. So first thing that I will be talking about is the pattern of the exam. So what exactly is the paper pattern for the JNU? So in the flyer that was circulated, the duration of the examination will be three hours. So it's a three hour paper. Okay. And the mode is online that is computer based test, just like how you attempt for ICMR or other questions wherein you have sections like the, uh, the not answered one, the mark for review and the answered question, such type similar only there will be the computer based test. Okay, then about the number of questions. So the number of questions that are going to be asked are 100 questions. Okay. Now the marking scheme is that for every correct answer, you will be awarded one mark and for a wrong answer, you will be safe. That is no negative marking in this paper. So here you can attempt all the questions without actually worrying about the negative mark, which is a very big plus point. So definitely my suggestion will be to attempt all the questions read through. You're getting enough time duration also. So you can read through all the questions and try to answer maximum of them. Okay, so that is about the paper pattern. Next is about the syllabus. Now the syllabus of life science is not directly given. However, the uh, site says that for the syllabus, you should follow CSIR net life sciences syllabus. Okay, so whatever are the different units and the subtopics given in the CSIR syllabus, the same kind of syllabus is going to be followed for JNU as well for the life sciences part. So those of you who have given life sciences, that is there are different fields as well in that different group, group two, group four, group three. So all of those will have the same paper. So many of you must be confused whether we have to give different papers for the different groups. So it is no, all the papers of the different groups under life sciences will be the same. So for all group question paper will be same. However, the only difference is that every department will then issue its individual cutoff list. Okay, so group two will have a different cutoff, group three will have a different cutoff depending upon the performance of the other students as well. Okay, so that is with respect to life sciences. With respect to biotechnology, in the PDF itself, they have given a very long list, a comprehensive list of all the topics that are mentioned. Okay, and similarly, if any of you are giving molecular medicine, also there is the de descriptive session of all the syllabus that is given in the JNU flyer PDF. For your convenience, I will link up both the links in the description for the 
general avenue as in the paper pattern as well and the syllabuses for biotechnology and for molecular medicine so if you are interested in any specific one definitely go, go check the link to the pdf you can download it and browse through but for biotechnology briefly if i have to mention the major sections so then they talk about biophysical chemistry here basically they are talking all about the different types of bonds that you see in biomolecules the 3d structure of protein the techniques used to study the structure of proteins then next an important section that they have given is based on enzymology so in detail you know you need to know about the enzymology and the biochemistry of the different biomolecules like lipids carbs fats all that and then all the cycles involved tca krebs cycle etc all has to be done then another section is the bio organic chemistry pure organic chemistry based questions and they have given you a list of topics under that so you can go through then you also have maths and statistics so common topics like probability different statistics tests and how to apply them when to apply which test is definitely another section then you have the section important on bioinformatics because you all know an important part of biotech is bioinformatics so on that also you will have questions then you will have questions on the molecular biology of prokaryote and eukaryotes okay then you will have a lot of immunology that you have to deal with you have plant biotech okay then you have to do microbiology in that then you have cell biology okay so like that you have a lot of things along with the uh, cell biology you also have to do nanotechnology also so these are in brief i have just given you the subject area in the syllabus extra details have been mentioned i try to link up it on the screen also so that you can get an idea as to what am i talking about so this is all about the syllabus and the paper pattern now coming to the very important part that you all want to know is the important topics for the test again i'm giving you a disclaimer these are all purely based on the last year's questions so last questions from 5 6 years i have tried to accumulate and these are such questions that you can use to prepare for any exam so even if you are preparing for barc or gate you can definitely refer to these important topics because these are only the ones that have been frequently asked in most of your entrance examinations okay so now let's get started with the first one that is based on your biomolecules okay biomolecules the metabolism and catalysis i have grouped it into such uh, you know categories so that it becomes easier for you to go through now in that first one that is very very important is based on proteins okay in proteins you have to do everything from the structure of the proteins that is the primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure quaternary structure very important especially what kind of bonds are involved covalent non covalent which is the important bonds which stabilize the protein that is a very important part on this one then you have to do the ramachandran plot there are questions asked based on the plot the bonds that are non rotatable all those type the configuration whether it is cis or trans is definitely asked in this so this you have to do for this first section then second one it is based upon calculating the charge on a peptide so they will give you a peptide and they will ask you to calculate the charge on the similar lines you have the questions on the isoelectric point okay so they may give you a isoelectric point of the amino acid and they may ask you that you know at this ph what will be the charge on the amino acid so you can definitely expect such type of question then the other type of question that they ask from this is based on the uh based on the molecular mass of the peptide okay so they may ask you like you know these many amino acids were joined so now tell us what is the molecular mass of the resulting peptide so such type of questions then based on the digestion also they ask questions so we know that these enzyme the proteases that we have like the trypsin chymotrypsin they have very special sites at which they cut the serine proteases basically so they can give you a peptide a long peptide and tell you what are ask you to you know 
identify what are the possible fragments this is a very important question with respect to gate and csir net as well so this type of questions they do ask then you know if i have to majorly tell you about certain uh, proteins that they focus on so i can tell you two that you should very importantly do one is collagen and second one that you must do is hemoglobin okay and it will be great if you do the differences between hemoglobin and myoglobin and also for hemoglobin you have to particularly see the factors that affect it okay like there are factors like the ph affects it then the then the temperature effect so whatever that things it should be very clear what reference would i suggest so i would suggest you to look for pathfinder books okay they are very comprehensive and very good to you know understand these topics so that is what they have asked now uh, with respect to you know the amino acids and others you have to know the structure of all amino acid and the properties so that is very important you also need to know something about the hyperchromic effect okay when you will you can directly search it on the internet also you will get i have found two years consecutively this question on on hyperchromic effect has been asked so definitely look at that part then next one the next question that they ask is on the nucleotides so basically they will ask you the chemical name for the nucleotide like one year paper had the uh, you know write the chemical name for thymine okay so you should know how the chemical name is some calculations based on nucleotides like based on the chargaff's rule okay so a plus b ratios and all they ask then if one side has a g this much residue so how much will the double helix contain okay so such type of questions i have you know been able to see so that is one question in nucleotides only a very important topic that you should cover is the sanger sequencing you should know exact details about the sanger sequencing you know how uh, the reaction progresses what is the nucleotide that is added we use the di di deoxy nucleotide right so what is the function what happens when they are incorporated how will you read the gel so after the gel they may give you you know the patterns like this and they may tell you like you know tell the uh, sequence of the template strand so such kind of questions you will get definitely from this particular section then moving on to the biomolecules so in carbohydrate there are many questions asked on definitions like what are epimers okay what are epimers what are anomers what is an enantiomer okay all these kind of a definition what is diastereo isomers these you can expect you should know these uh, simple definitions and how the job gets done over there so that is about this section then the next on other is the lipid so carbs i told you nucleotides also i told you in lipids basically the saturated and unsaturated uh, fatty acids you know when uh, the saturated one should be incorporated so in cold regions what will the animal have such kind of questions and specifically based on the lipid bilayer also you will find a lot of questions from this section okay so that is about this particular part then the next part that very important i want to emphasize especially even if you are from biotechnology this is very important that is enzymology questions are usually based on the michaelis menten equation okay they ask you questions on km vmax dissociation constant kd like you know what does the km tell you about the affinity of the enzyme such type of questions have been asked then the other type of question that they ask you is on the types of inhibition okay types of inhibition competitive non competitive uncompetitive what happens to the km what happens to the vmax and finally under this section the last thing that you should do is the classes of enzymes okay so what are the classes in in the correct serial order okay so if one is ligase two is aldolase i'm not saying it in order but i'm telling you that these are the different classes and you should know the order because they ask questions based on the naming of these enzymes okay there are many people that have questions on this so definitely do not forget to do this one
next the ninth important topic that we are going to discuss is on the vitamins so very easy from this you don't have to break your brain much on vitamins you just need to know you know which vitamins are used for which coenzymes okay so coenzyme a comes from which vitamin such type of simple questions can be asked i have a video on this vitamins i have tabulated it you can definitely check the i button for the video and you will be done with that topic so that's about vitamins and finally about the cycles so i would like to focus tell you to focus specially on the glyoxylate you know cycle because they have asked many questions particularly on this cycle as well as your famous krebs cycle glycolysis is something that you should know and you cannot have a escape from that and with respect to numericals if i specifically tell you the numericals will come from you know the thermodynamics part this is very important it is part of the analytical section that come usually you find such questions at the end of the paper so thermodynamics what i specifically means is based on the gibbs free energy based on the entropy and based on the enthalpy i have a very detailed video on this also so do check it out i have solved questions of csir net in that video so if you understand the csir net questions then definitely this will become very easy for you to solve as well so do check that also out and here only i will add the last technique also that i want you to do is uv visible spectroscopy okay so you have to do the uv vis spectroscopy this they ask a lot of questions and they are usually based on the molar extinction coefficient okay on the molar extinction coefficient this is a very 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 common question that is asked you know you can ask about the path length those type of questions can be asked from this section okay so this is all about the things that will be asked from this part i know the list may sound lengthy but if you actually look at the syllabus then you will definitely you know realize that i am definitely cutting down a lot so i would like to stop at this video because i don't want to make this one quite long if you want to know the other important topics from cell biology immunology or anything do check out my next video i may upload it tomorrow and if you are watching it the next day then definitely check the i button or down in the description you will find my video so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye